What is going on YouTube? This is Arctic Fox. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at a rather cold case. Today's case takes us all the way back to 2007. We're going to be looking at the missing persons case of Tony Eugene Woodworth, who went missing out of Charleston, Missouri on the 11th of October 2007. At the time of his disappearance, Tony was only 35 years old. However, he would be 51 years old today. At the time that he disappeared, Tony was 5 foot 10 inches tall and weighed 178 pounds. He had brown hair and brown eyes. He was last seen wearing a striped shirt or a white muscle shirt with riding on it. He had on wind pants or blue shorts and sneakers. He does suffer from back problems. It is believed that he may have gotten into a white Oldsmobile. He does have tattoos on both of his arms, including a cross and the word mom on his right arm, and he does have a burn scar on his left arm. At the time of his disappearance, he did have a mustache. Tony was last seen walking in the 200 block of North Elm Street in Charleston, Missouri at around 4.30 p.m. on the 11th of October, 2007. He was allegedly going to speak with one of his sister's neighbors who owed him money, and he has never been seen or heard from again. He did have numerous problems with the law prior to his disappearance, and he had served several prison terms, and he may have been involved with drugs. Just before his disappearance, he had been released from house arrest. Now, we all have issues in our past. He was trying to work to improve himself, and that's no reason why we shouldn't get Tony's face out there. His family and friends as you can well imagine, are just completely beside themselves right now. I mean, we're looking at 15 years that it's been since he disappeared. Authorities believe that Tony may have gotten into a white Oldsmobile on the day of his disappearance. Witnesses reported hearing the sound of a gunshot in the area, but that has not been confirmed. His family says it's uncharacteristic of Tony to leave without warning, as he was very close to his family. He didn't have a cell phone, he didn't have any credit cards at the time of his disappearance, and he didn't take any of his personal belongings, any of his money, he didn't have his ID with him. Foul play is certainly possible in this case, and it remains unsolved to this day. I mean, my heart goes out to this family, guys. Can you imagine your loved one being missing for 15 years, and regardless of someone's past, they still are someone's loved one, someone's son, someone's brother, someone's dad? and they deserve law enforcement to work with the family to try to bring them home. That has not necessarily been the case in this particular situation. Tony's family deserves answers. They've been without answers for the past 15 years. We need to get Tony's face circulating on social media, and we need to light a new fire into the investigation into what happened to Tony. So what I need you guys to do is to give the video a like. It does help more people to see Tony's face, and the more people that see him, the better the chances are that we can bring him home safe. Also, if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, consider clicking that subscribe button. It really does help the channel out, and if you ring that notification bell, you'll always be alerted whenever I post another missing persons video. The most important thing that I need for all of you to do right now is to simply click that share button, guys. Share this to your Facebook, your Twitter, your Instagram, wherever you have social media. It only takes a second of your time to do, and it can make all the difference in the world and whether we're able to find Tony and bring him home safe or not. As always, guys, I do want to thank you so much for tuning in and watching. I appreciate each and every single one of you. Y'all be kind to one another out there, and let's bring Tony home safe. 